What's up guys, I wanted to do a video today. Uh, I was looking back through uh, kind of my video archives, I, I do that every now and then. And I noticed that um, I'm at the one year mark, over one year mark of this tank being built from when I started it to where we are today. The tank's been set up now for about eight to nine months. And uh, like I said, we're a little over a year since I started this project. Um, I built this tank for those of you who are kind of new to the channel and may not have um, uh, may not have been following me at the time. I built this tank in a spare bedroom that I have. Um, bought the glass, had it professionally cut, um, and built it. Um, I used uh, RTV 103 and 108 silicone. Used black on the sides, and then uh, I was trying to do clear at the bottom, but you can see there that I kind of had a little bit of an issue <laughs> with the black and the clear mixing. Anyways, big issue. There's been some issues with the tank along the way when I first uh, built it. My first water test was a complete failure. Um, I used, I cut uh, three inch Euro braces, two or three inch Euro braces, I don't remember, for the length. And during my first water test, they cracked. Or the back side cracked, or the front side, whatever side it was. Um, so, um, that was a bust, so I had to uh, get new Euro braces. I had these ones professionally cut and diamond edged here, you can see. Um, half inch glass and uh, five inches wide through the length. After that, um, did the water test again. The tank didn't bow, didn't budge. Um, let it test for about a week. Used a WP40 wave maker on it. Had a massive, big wave going in this thing for a week, and um, the water test was successful at that point. So we went ahead and set the tank up at that point. Um, so I mean, we're at the one year mark. Um, Things are kind of on the up and up. You can remember a couple months ago I had uh, some issues. Uh, I didn't have time for the tank really, so a lot of corals started dying. The tank just started to deteriorate real bad. Um, started giving the tank its uh, its due diligence or justice or whatever. Started putting the uh, the time that the tank really deserved. Um, as you can see, I'm still battling a little bit with a little bit of sand. I got to turn my pumps up. I turned them way down um, when I added the. Uh, the fish here, you can see here, it looks like he got stung by the anemone on his forehead. <laughs> or ran into something, I don't know. Anyways, um, so yeah, I turned the pumps down. I just haven't turned them back up, but I think I'm going to do that right now. Um, you'll see here in the tank I have the RW15 here and one on this side and then an old WP40 in the corner and one in this corner. Um, I got them running on linear flow right now. And I got it paired, I got all four of these pumps paired up with the uh, High Door Smart Wave, um, Wave Maker, or Alternator, or whatever you want to call it. I have this side coming on for one minute, then that side will turn off, then this side will turn on for one minute, vice versa. And let me tell you, the uh, the motion that I get out of it is incredible. Um, the Jabo pumps paired with the High Door Smart Wave is, um, in my opinion, like a symphony. It, it's so well matched. Um, it, 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 in my opinion, I've been I've been snorkeling before and, and scuba diving, and when you're in the ocean doing all that, you know you feel the wave or you feel the water kind of move like this, and then it moves like that. I mean, it's not like a wave like like we do with these pulse modes on these wave makers. Um, with the Hydor Smart Wave paired with these, the combination is great. I got them set for a minute, so we got the water jetting this way for a minute turns off and then it comes back this way for a minute it's perfect the movement is great the corals don't clam up from from like when the, with the pulse modes um, any corals that are real close to the pumps they get beat up really bad from those pulse modes this it's not beating up the corals it's great I love it it's a great combination but um so yeah aside from uh, just us being here at the one year mark and you guys following me um, and I enjoy making these videos. I was just checking it out. I got over 1,700 subscribers now, and that's uh, that's a feat that I never thought I would get to. But wow, thank you guys, um, all you uh, loyal guys that have been here since my channel was a little itty bitty thing with my old tanks. To you new guys coming up and uh, subscribing as of lately, uh, I really appreciate it. It makes it a lot of fun, and uh, makes me want to keep continuing to uh, do some videos. But um, yeah, everything's doing pretty good, guys, and. Um, you know, I appreciate you guys sticking with the channel, and you new guys, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. And uh, I got a review coming up on the RW15s, um, and then I'm, in the same review, I'm gonna, I'll also do a review with these pumps on the high door uh, Smart Wave, which is down in my cabin. That's why I keep pointing down there. It's kind of stupid, but 
So uh, that'll be coming up um, here shortly. I'll do that review later on. I'm still getting a little bit of use out of these pumps. I've had them for about three weeks now and absolutely love them. These RW15s are uh, they're stronger than the WP40s, believe it or not. Um, I have to actually match the specs of what the WP40 is versus the RW15. But um, these seem a lot stronger, a lot stronger, and a wider, wider flow pattern. But uh, anyways, guys, um, again, thank you guys for um, all your support of the channel. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I'll, I'll kind of backtrack. You can see I can still kind of have a, I still can kind of have, I still have a little bit of an algae issue. And something I've never battled before in the reef keeping hobby is bubble algae. Well, this guy wants to fight the camera. So. Anyways, uh, I've never bu I've never battled bubble algae before, but for some reason in this tank I have got bubble algae really, really bad. I'm uh, flirting with the idea of making an algae scrubber. I had somebody actually put that in my comments in one of my other videos about building an algae scrubber, and I'm so down with that. It's not even, I mean, it's unbelievable. Um, I just have to get a, a design in place so I can incorporate it into my sump where my old refugium used to be. I have the light for it. So yes, that is something I am definitely down with doing. I just have to figure out how to do it. Um, an algae scrubber is a new technology to me. A lot of people use it. It's something that a lot of people do use, but it's new to me. So um, yeah, so I just have to do my research on it a little bit, and then I'll build one. So uh, anyways, with that said, guys, appreciate it. If you have any video ideas, um, put them in the comments below, and I will be happy to do those videos. Reviews on the RW15 is coming up, and then same review will be... Um, the Jabo pumps in um, in Symphony with the uh, the Hydor Smart Wave, which is down in my cabinet. For some reason, I keep trying to point at it. Can't see it. So, anyways, all right, guys. Uh, we will uh, see you in an upcoming video of the reviews of those bad boys. All right, later.